Good morning, ladies. Welcome back to Robin's Beauty Over 50. Today I'm going to be doing a look of all of my favorite things. So if you would like to see that, just keep watching. Okay, ladies. So today I'm going to be using um, all of my favorite face uh, products for makeup. So, um, yeah, so what I start with usually is my primer, and I have been using the Becca, what is this, Backlight Primer. This is what it looks like. It's a fantastic primer. <clears throat> I use a lot of it because I have extremely dry skin. And I'm going to be looking over here a lot because that's where my mirror is see myself I just bought the um, is this backlight or first light I think this is the backlight I think I've just bought the first light yep I just bought the first light so we'll see how I like that one but this is for right now this is a um, a full face of my favorite products <clears throat> the second the second primer I use is the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer for my pores. And you always have to use a pore filling primer because I do have pores that need to be minimized. I'm going to try to lean in as much as I can so you can see this. So I have pretty much the, um, the backlit or light all over my face and then the poreless is right here in the T-zone or in the middle. This is a great primer. Tati uses this primer. She loves it for her pores as well. Then I go in with my eye primer. <clears throat> this is the Urban Decay. This is the anti-aging. And I'll have everything listed below. This is probably going to be a long video, so just forewarn you because I want to do it in each step that I do my makeup. And I think today I'm going to be doing this natural. <laughs> um, so how I do that, the very first thing that I use is not that, is my uh, Maybelline Age Rewind in Brightener. So I put that underneath my eyes. Put that back. Let me just make sure this is focused on me real quick. Okay. And then I smooth that out with my Beauty Blender, which is another one of my favorite products. I pretty much always use a Beauty Blender very rarely use a brush for face products because I'm so dry. Brushes seem to move skin around, so <clears throat> so I always use my I pretty much always use my beauty blender. Then I go in with the Catrice Liquid Camouflage. This is a fantastic, fantastic concealer. I do my under eye, under my eyes. I do kind of a triangle, run a line down my nose to start contouring it. I have a hump right in the middle of my nose. I give myself a mustache, a little bit of a chin, and I go down these, what are they called? I don't know. Are they jowls? <laughs> Marionette lines? So I use that usually go in the under under eyes first because this um, <coughs> concealer will dry quickly and I want to make sure that they don't get too dry under there like I've said before this is really really light but I love a light under eye I think it just brightens up my face then I take my sponge and I do it like push it down on my nose 
and then like to push that product in then I go back and smooth out the sides the sides of that concealer on either side of my nose and then I go into the forehead see how it dries so quick I have to move that around to get it to where it will look decent Then I do down here. So the whole uh, middle of my face is bright. I like the way that that looks. When I started doing makeup, I never did this. I never did all of this step. I um, I was eyeshadow, mascara, a little bit of concealer, blush, and lipstick. Didn't use foundation. This was like five years ago. So YouTube has taught me a lot about makeup. Then I go in with this Clinique Chubby Stick for the first contour round. <clears throat> And I put it down the sides of my nose, on the tip, and on the sides, and then right on that line. But I don't press really hard on the line because I find that it's very difficult to get it to blend out. And I have a double chin. Actually, I have a triple chin. <laughs> so I have to really, really work it concealing or um, contouring that. Then I take my Beauty Blender and push that product up into the hairline as much as I can possibly get it. Then I do the cheeks. <coughs> I don't worry about harsh lines pretty much because I know when I go over my face with foundation, it's going to take care of those lines. That's why I like this natural so much because you can actually see the contouring underneath the foundation and you don't have these lines like you, when you, you do when you... Uh, when you put the contour on top of the foundation. If I remember, because sometimes I don't remember, I do the contour and the concealer all first. Sometimes I'm like, I, and I, I go in with my um, foundation first and I'm like, man, I was gonna do this natural today, <laughs> but I went into my <clears throat> foundation first, so I just finished that. And I blend all my chin out. Like I said, it does look harsh now, but once I get everything on, it's not going to look bad. It's not going to look harsh. <clears throat> okay. So that is the um, concealer and the contour that I use that are my holy grails. Then my holy grail uh, foundation, I think I was gonna get that out, is the Makeup Forever um, Blurring Powder Foundation. It's gorgeous, I've hit pan on it, so I need to get another one, sorry about that. So I just pounce that on top of that. <clears throat> This is a fantastic foundation. I have a, um, a video specifically on this foundation. I'll link it here. Is it right? Uh, here or here? <laughs> I can never remember. I think it's here. Right. And I'll put a little card up there for you so you can click on that but this is a fantastic foundation even though it's like a powder 
foundation, it does not dry out my skin, which I love. So I don't have to really use any oil with anything. Sometimes I use an oil with a primer. <clears throat> this one I don't. And I can't use oil with a powder foundation. So I'm going to bring it down my neck. See how it just smooths out all of that contour? <clears throat> I'm always afraid when I put on foundation that I don't get it everywhere. Because sometimes I'll be watching people and they don't get their foundation everywhere and I'm like, you gotta go back, you gotta go back. <laughs> and I'm thinking, this is not your video, don't worry about it. So. All right, let me just make sure that looks decent. And I do use a lot of this, but it's gorgeous. See how pretty it looks on the skin? So pretty. And bring it down the neck. And you can still see that contour. Let's see if I can get just a little bit in those lines because I, I don't like those at all. God did not bless me with a teeny tiny little nose. He gave me a nice little honker and I'm okay with that. So <clears throat> that is my foundation and now I go in with powder. So the powder that I've been using and loving for underneath my eyes Sorry, I have a, a light over here on this side of me that I have to move around <clears throat> to get to stuff. Has been the uh, Laura Mercier Secret Blurring Powder for underneath the eyes. And I also use another powder. I'm so high maintenance. Okay, so I smooth out. It's gonna be a long one, ladies. Underneath my eyes. Go in with this powder. for that. Then I go in with my Wet n Wild Contour Palette and I use that, I use the banana shade in here. I have a major pan on this and I go right over top of that the white just to kind of not make it so bright. <clears throat> okay. Then to set the face, I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Flawless Finish. This is a gorgeous palette. Palette. This is a gorgeous um, powder. But I'm going to start using something else. Um, I bought the Flower setting powder and I want to see how that works in comparison to this because this is so expensive and you hit pan so fast on it. It is gorgeous though. It makes your face just flawless. Like it says, flawless finish. <clears throat> okay, so I set my face with that. Then I put on my lip and I do this after my foundation and everything is on because I, I don't want to get this smeared all over, all over my foundation. So this is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme and I just put this on. I really like this product. It plumps up the lips. And I find it does make a difference. It does plump up my lips. Next thing I use, or next thing I do, is I use my L'Oreal Style Definer for my eyebrows. And I am rushing through this. I usually take a whole lot more time, and we're at 15 minutes now, so you can see how long my, my, oops. <laughs> 
So I'm running out of this one. I've got another one. So we'll use this one up and then I'll get that one. So I always bring my my eye uh, my eyebrow up in the middle, then I do the outside and bring that down. And I bring that down like that. This one's lifted more. I can actually bring that up a little bit more because I like it. I like my eyelid lift, my eyelash lifted. And I'm going to do this side. Hopefully I can get to this step with this. And you can see how, you know, this is just like the first step I do for my, my eyebrows. But I'm one of those, yeah, I'm gonna run out of this. Hang on a second. I've got three of those over there that I've run out of. I use this in light brunette and it works really well. <clears throat> Lift you up a little bit. Yeah, that's better. All right, it seems like it wants to fall. Had to get a new phone, a new phone case and a new uh, pop socket because my other phone case was falling apart and yes I do all of my um, filming from my my iPhone their cameras are amazing so I've been using that and maybe someday in the future I will get myself a nice camera but I've been using my iPhone and all of the video equipment not video equipment, but video apps on that. Lifting that eyebrow up and down. Then I'll go in with the spoolie. <clears throat> and I just push that, push that eyebrow up. And I just do a rough round with this the spoolie so this is definitely one of my favorite products if not the most favorite to do to do that first pass on your eyebrows <laughs> I'm very extra so I used to not be remember I told you I was just you know this this and this very minimal. I, I had it down to probably 10 minutes. Then I used my Gimme Brow. And I go over top of that. And this is definitely, definitely a, a quick brow because I can see now that there is a, there are, there not, there is, there's, there are issues with my eyebrows right now, but that's okay. Because I do a last step with these right before. That's my last thing that I do in my makeup routine is I um, finish off with my eyebrows. So I put the clear gel on it. Okay. Okay, I usually wait um, till right before I start my eyeshadow to set my eyelids and I use the Laura Mercier translucent powder I use a lot of it to set my eyelids and get all those creases out do that before <clears throat> my eyelids have been really 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 dry lately been kind of hard for me to maneuver maneuver the eyeshadow around okay and then I go in with my white <clears throat> L'Oreal base and this is I'm trying to figure out what co color -ish. I can't wait 302 mix and matte 302 matte it's the, one of the lightest shades they make i think they do make a white this is the shade okay and then i 
take like a flat brush. This is an Elf C brush. And I go in over top of that powder. <clears throat> and smooth that out. All right, now, what palette do I want to use? <laughs> um, I, I don't really have a holy grail palette. This thing wants to fall down. So I can pick any palette and pretty much be happy with it. I did a nice look yesterday that I think I'm going to recreate today. And I used the Modern Renaissance. From Anastasia Beverly Hills, Anastasia, whatever, however you, however you say it. <clears throat> All right. I go in with a Sigma. I can't remember. It's all worn off now. I think this is an E30. I think. And yesterday, the very first color that I went in was golden ochre which is this color right here and I've hit major 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 pan on these shades they're that good her shadows are really really crumbly but if you if you go in with a light hand you're not going to get a bad look with these not ever they're so pigmented and so gorgeous <clears throat> okay, so, and I make sure that I get that almost to the top, but not quite, because I, I go in with like a light, well my highlight's going to go up there. So, I need to tighten that up. I'll do that in a little bit. All right, so I've got that golden ochre, and then I'm going to go in with, I believe this is a Sigma E25, E35. I can't, it's like a flat tapered brush. <clears throat> and I went in with Love Letter, which is this pink this pink color right here. Is that the color I went in with? Yeah. Love letter. Tap that off. And I do pretty much, sometimes I bring it up to this eye brow part right there. Yesterday I didn't do that. This is beautiful. Beautiful shade. So I've got that warm and this cool going on. And I think it pretty much works together. It's very pretty. Alright. I'm not going to get a precise blend because I'm going to go back in with another brush and blend it out. My hair is going to be crazy because um, we're getting our air conditioner fixed. Air conditioning fixed today. We've got to replace both units. We have, a, we have an upstairs and downstairs unit, so we're having both of them replaced today. So I'm upstairs doing this, and the upstairs unit is not working at all. So I'm doing this first thing in the morning <clears throat> to try and beat some of the heat before they get here. I want to make sure that I've got this, this done before they get here. <clears throat> like I have, let me see, nope, just 
look that way. <clears throat> so it looks like that, that I have some runaway eyebrow hairs. <laughs> I try to keep them at bay. Isn't it funny how you have eyebrow hairs that just pop up in the middle of the night and they're long and they're like, did I just not see that or what happened there? I mean, I do use eyelash serum, but I'm like, maybe it does transfer up. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Does that look right? <laughs> I'm going to go in a little bit more with that golden ochre, and I'm going to go right over top of that, that shade. Blend that out just a little bit. All right, so I went kind of light with that that pinky. Yeah, it's a pink shade. I went kind of light with that shade. So I'm trying to see if I've got those. <laughs> trying to see if I've got those even. It does not look like I do, and it's driving me insane. Let's pull a little bit more over here. And then I went in with um, this brush I use. This is just a plain, this is a BH Cosmetics brush. It's like a pressed brush, a pressing brush, you know what I mean. And I went in with, which one did I go in with? I can't remember. I think it was Venetian Red. I think I went in with Venetian Red right here. <coughs> put that on the outside. See how pigmented those colors are? I just barely tapped my brush in. I know that looks crazy, but it's not going to look crazy for long. You guys stick with me through this whole video. I applaud you because I do this every day, <laughs> but this is something that I enjoy doing. I love putting my makeup on. <clears throat> I don't know if, I mean, I have to really, really, really like a person's videos to sit through a half an hour or even like, it's going to be longer than that get ready with me. I just, I, I don't have that kind of time because I want to devote my time to, to watching other people too. Watching their videos. It's hard to because I support so many people. I try to anyway. So I'm going to go in with this brush here which is a Trish McAvoy brush and it's a blending brush. And I'm going to blend all of that together. We're supposed to have thunderstorms today. I really hope those guys can get my, our, uh, what do you call it, in, AC units in before it starts. I live down South Georgia, so, <clears throat> Thunderstorms usually don't start until afternoon, late afternoon. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go, I'm going to put a teeny tiny baby wing, where's my, on the, and I had to pull from another palette for that yesterday. I think I pulled from palette. Yep. Nope. That's not the one. No, not that one either. <laughs> one of these has a black in it. I'm doing black. This has a black. This is the rock 
the rock uh, metal by Beauty Blaze. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be didn't mean to be rude for the sake of time. I'm trying to speed this up somewhat. I just go right on the outside and I put that little wing right there on the outside. And then I, I don't dip back in. I bring it just on the outer edge of that eye just to make it look like it's connected. And I have a, a harder time on the other eye getting it like I want it. I don't know why. I think it's because I have some issues with this eye anyway. <laughs> it's um, I, I had an injury or something when I was a kid and so I'm going to bring that over just to the outer edge and then I'll fill it in a little bit. So that, I can't ever get them straight. That's okay. For the sake of time. <clears throat> Right there in the corner. Okay, that's what that's good. So then I take a pencil brush. And this is a I think this is an elf. It says crease brush, but it's I use it for underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna go in first without putting anything on this brush, because I use this brush a lot go underneath my eyes and yesterday I had black on it so I'm not going to put anything else on it and I take that black powder that's on the edge and I pull it over almost to the inner corner then I'm going to go in with <coughs> this Vermeer right here it's a pink, it's a pink shimmery shade, and I'm going to put it right on top, on the lid, the mobile lid is what they call it, I think, or the mobile lid, part that moves. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to blend that out because I got some up on my other part there. I'm going to blend it right here. Okay. Then I'm going to take <clears throat> this first brush that I use, clean that off a little bit. I'm going to go into tempura and I don't know if I, how much I can pick up from that. But that shade I'm going to put right here in the inner corner or the inner part of my lid to bring all of those shades together. Then I'm going to take an inner corner. I'm in half an hour now, I think, from the other. I had to shut this off a minute. <clears throat> and I'm going to go back into Vermeer. There we go. And put that right in the inner corner. Let me bring that over to the black a little bit. Just to like open up that eye a little bit and highlight that, that inner corner. This is a really, really pretty shade. I really like it. I like it to, I like it in my inner corner. <clears throat> okay. Done with this. Still looks like I could blend it out a little bit more but for the sake of time I'm not going to do that but you know the gist of what I would do um, I would blend that out a little bit more then I go in with my 
Voluminous uh, Lash Primer by L'Oreal. This stuff is amazing. I have not used the Lancome Defenacils, I think is what they call that lash primer. I know that, that there are people that love that, but I haven't used it. They say that this is a dupe for it. <clears throat> Use that on my lashes. It's surprising that how much you really don't notice how how your lashes how long your lashes are when you're putting on when you're putting on your eye makeup until you get to the lash primer or to your mascara. And I'm not saying you have to have a lash primer. I used I did this without a lash primer. I did my makeup without a lash primer when I finally started doing my makeup right for years, but then I'm like, now I'm going to try one, and yes, I was hook, hooked, hooked. <laughs> I'll put a little bit more on that bottom over here, and then I'm going to put one more coat on the top. I usually use two coats bottom, I mean two coats top, one coat bottom with the lash primer. And these lashes are longer than those lashes, even though I use lash serum on both eyes. I'm not sure what that's about. I guess my, <clears throat> I guess the left side of my face is just lame. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, now I'm going to go in and contour. I let that lash primer set on my eyes for a little bit. I'm going to go into this e.l.f. contour palette. I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics brush. It's an angled brush. I'm going to go into this shade right here. It is not the darkest shade, but it's the next darkest shade, and I'm going to do some contouring. Actually, this is kind of a bronzing shade. This is, <clears throat> if you contour, you don't really need to bronze it's pretty much the same thing in my opinion now that's my opinion then I on the outsides of my cheeks then the make those cheekbones look just a little bit more defined then I do my chin <clears throat> It does make a huge difference though in my chin because my chin is, it is, it just is. Okay, so then I'm going to go back into that same shade, this one right here, and I'm going to do my nose. The inside of it. The other side of it and down the sides. Do the tip. Great little product. I think I paid like, I think it was six bucks. Don't quote me on that. I think it was six dollars I paid for that. And then I'm going to go into my Hourglass Flush, Luminous Flush is what it's called. And I'm going to take this uh, angled clearance brush and I'm going to use it pretty much right over top of that contour bronze. Bronzy contour. Bronze, bronzer. <laughs> bronzer. There we go. We just made up a word. There we go. Then I'm going to go up here, down here, and I'm going to get those cheeks really good. <clears throat> As 
because I have a couple more videos that I want to shoot today. So I want to make sure that my face, you can see my face, because sometimes I look sick in my videos and I'm like, I'm like you need to put more blush on, so. Okay. Then the first, the first highlight I use is the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, and I take that, side of my cheek, the side of my eye, down around my cheek, this is a long video, a little bit more on that cheek. I just dot it, and I'm bar barely tapping it with my my uh, beauty blender because it will take your makeup off underneath if you're rough with it. So I just barely tap it. This is a really pretty product. I I have used this product underneath my makeup all over my face, and you can do that if you want a really. nice glow. You can see that. Then I go in with my second highlight. <laughs> Where is it? Oh yeah. I've been using this Ulta Sculpt, Baked Sculpt and Glow, and I, um, I'm using the highlight portion out of this right here, and I use this round brush. This is a, a, a Real Techniques brush. And I go over my, over my, the tip of my nose, I take a little bit up here on the forehead, a little bit on the cheekbone, <clears throat> and a little bit here. I'm pretty glowy <laughs> with that. And I have a lot of texture on my face, like especially up on my forehead with all the wrinkles and uh, and stuff like that. Then I'm going to go in with my Lancome. This is the Absolute Powder. This is the powder that I'm going to try and dupe with the uh, Flower Beauty Setting Powder. And I take either my Laura Mercier brush, or not brush, puff, my little puff, and I press it into my skin all over. And you have to, I have to make sure that I get it. You can see that powder flying around. Sometimes I'll look back and I haven't got it pressed in good enough. And I'll have to... And I'll realize that after I put on my my setting spray. So I have to wait till my setting spray is finished drying. Bring it down. Okay, I think I got it all all in. And then I do use my Urban Decay All Nighter before I do my mascara. I did a uh, three minute three minute tip on that all over my face and I really 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 get it where's my where's the cap <clears throat> okay while that's drying I'm gonna take this is nasty but oh well I've got a guff on it I'm gonna take the Too Faced off And I'm going to put on the um, the Age Rewind. I've got a separate one of these for my lips. I don't use the one I use on my eyes. Right there in the middle. This is the pout look that I was I was telling you about. Where's my? Hmm. And then I'm going to go in. I'm going to put this <coughs> eyebrow right here to give it an illusion of a bigger lip okay. 
I bring it up and down. So I will go over this with my eye, with my uh, lip pencil, <clears throat> but it gives an illusion of a fuller lip. So now is one of my favorite times in my. Um, my makeup routine. I'm going to bring some of that powder down my neck because my neck's looking grim. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay, so all of the lash priming, all of the lash serum, all comes, you can see it now when I put mascara on. And I found that if you use a lash primer and it stops working, pick up another lash primer. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a hundred dollars. Just pick up a different one. And it seems like there's something in these lash primers that different ingredients in each one. So they'll start working again. You'll just just pick a cheap one up and I have noticed that my eyelashes will find something in there that works for them and they'll start growing again. I don't understand it. I do a second coat. And you know, I like I like a really full long spidery look. I just do. I always have. That's two coats on this side. You know, if I don't like the way that it looks, I'll go back in with a third coat. I don't do more than three coats, but I usually do two. All right. Hourglass Caution Extreme great mascara. Then I'm going to take this mascara, which is the um, Secret Express. I think it's 4D or 3D, and it's got um, fibers in it. And I do my bottom lashes because I've always, in my whole life of putting, putting mascara on, I've always had an issue with it transferring. And I found that if I powder heavily, which is kind of crappy that you have to do that, but that I have to do that because I have quite a bit of texture under my eyes. Powder heavily and get something that's waterproof or a tubing mascara, you're, you're good to go on that. Okay. The next step. This is the last, this is the next to let, well, I gotta do lips. But this is, uh, what am I doing? Oh, okay. It's early. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna go back into my Ulta Beauty highlight. I'll take this teeny tiny brush, and I've got highlight on both sides. So I'm gonna make like a line, and I'm gonna go up in that that eyebrow and I'm going to turn the brush around smooth it out a bit do the other side see that line and I turn it over and then bring it down so I've got my highlight on <clears throat> Very last step before lipstick or lip gloss or whatever I'm going to do that day is my eyelash, uh, no, my eyelash, my eyebrow gel. So I take the Anastasia or Anastasia clear brow gel and push those brows up. Or 
touch the brows up. I mean, they're not, because I really kind of hurried through them this morning, they're not as perfect as I like them, but they're okay. All right, and that, <clears throat> and I'm gonna take off, no, I'm not. Well, I'm gonna, let's see, this one. <laughs> I promise you, I know what I'm doing here. Um, I'm going to blend that brown to where it's a shadow. I'm going to take my, this is a uh, Clinique. Clinique, yeah, Clinique. No, it's L'Oreal. <coughs> can't read the color but it's it's a really pretty wait a minute okay I don't want to take all day trying to figure out what color this is but it's like a brownie burgundy color and I'm gonna go right on top of that line that I drew with my eyebrow pencil And I'm going to do the same thing on top, bring it down. And I'm going to do the Lisa Lisa D1 going like that. Okay, and then I'm going to fill in the outer portion of the lips. <clears throat> and then I'm going to um, take this, out of everything that I've used today, this is the only thing I think you can't get anymore. This is the It Cosmetics uh, CC Lip Serum in Love. And I, I love this stuff so much. I went on eBay, and you can get it on eBay. It's expensive, but it's beautiful. So I use that on top. on top of that that um, concealer the age rewind in the brightener <clears throat> and you can see that you know it gave me a fuller lip I don't have full lips um, and I'm not real comfortable with the whole outlining on the outline of my lips outside of my lips so um, but I, I can deal with this so that is a face of all of my favorite products holy grails um, hope you enjoyed it hope you sticked around stuck around for it, it is a long one um, all right, so I'll come back and I'll show you the finished look in just a minute. Thank you ladies so much for sticking around with me for this very, very long get ready with me um, while I showed you all of my favorite products. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. So click that little subscribe button down below. If you are subscribed, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I will be back here on Thursday with my 3-Minute Tip Thursday. You guys have an awesome week.